Hey, hi, and hello, I'm Angry Gorilla, and welcome back to the PokeMMO server. Evolution is a big part of Pokemon, whether it's leveling up, whether it's giving it an item, whether it's holding an item when leveling up, whether it's getting traded, or if it's a certain time of day, or happiness. But there's also Pokemon that evolve when around a certain area. So we've already discovered or covered the fact that Eevee evolves into Leafeon when exposed to a mossy rock. But there are two Pokemon, Nosepass and Magneton, that evolve when exposed to a special magnetic field. So we can see that we can get Probopass if we expose Nosepass to a magnetic field, as well as Magneton. So, that is literally what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you the five locations found on the PokeMMO server in which you can evolve these Pokemon into either a Magnezone or a Probopass. This could be handy if you are trying to complete the Pokedex as well. So, the location in Kanto is going to be found in the power plant. So, I suggest starting here in Route 10 where the PC is, you need a Pokemon that knows Surf. So once you have that, you make your way north of the PC. I'm just gonna use a rappel just quickly. And so we're gonna head down here and here we are in the power plant. Me personally, I like to run all the way to the very end. Okay, so the spot in Johto to find the special magnetic field is you want to start in Mahogany Town and you want to make your way into this little house here and down this staircase into Team Rocket's HQ. As well as, so once you level up in here, you evolve your Nosepass or Magneton into their respective Pokemon. So here we have the animation for Nosepass evolving into Probopass. So now in Hoenn, we are going to head towards New Morville. That's where we'll find the um, next special magnetic field location. So again, you need a Pokemon that knows Surf. So I am gonna pop a Repel here. Head down towards this cave. You do need to have New Morville unlocked. As well as once you're here in New Morville, you can make your way all the way to the end, but it does not matter as long as you're in this area um once you level up so even if i just use a uh, rare candy here on another one of our pro nose passes we'll see that we get the animation and nose pass will evolve into probo pass In Sinnoh, to find the special magnetic field, it's actually Mount Coronet. So, Mount Coronet is such a large spanning um, region of the Sinnoh map. So, what I suggest is just making your way across from Eternia City. And we can just head into Mount Coronet. And now, so if I do another rare candy onto this nose pass we can see that we get the animation for nose pass in unova we can find the special magnetic field in charge stone cave so I suggest going from Mistralton City. We can head into Charge Stone Cave and just for ease, if I use a rare candy on my Magneton, we can see that we should get the Evolve animation, which means we are evolving into Magnezone. So 
So there you have it. They're the five locations um, that you need to evolve either Magneton or Nose Pass in order to get Magnezone or Probo Pass onto your um, Pokedex. You can get them if you look up Magnezone. So we can get them via Allure in New Morville, or if you want to get Probo Pass. We can see that it is a lure or a rare encounter in Mount Coronet. So it's probably just as easy to catch your own Magnemite, evolve it up, or catch your own Nose Pass and then evolve it up. Whatever you need to do in order to complete your Pokédex. But they're the five locations. So Power Plant in Kanto, Team Rocket HQ in Johto, New Moorville in Hoenn, Mount Coronet in Sinnoh, and Charge Stone Cave in Unova. So hopefully that's been straightforward. Hopefully um, you guys can follow along and get your very own Magna Zone and Probo Pass. If not, always go back. But yeah, so slow the video down and yeah, take it at your own pace. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it's a smaller video, um, but hopefully you do enjoy it. If you did, leave it a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Um, anything else that you'd like me to do a little guide on or a little tutorial or showcase more than happy to do so just let me know in the comments down below um, what you can do to support me and keep up to date with all Poke MMO on the channel is if you subscribe keeps you up to date with everything going on I do like to try and get at least one or two videos out a week whether it's a hundred laws or a showcase like this or a guide or some sort of like um, any sort of video that's pokey mmo related i love it so but like always look after yourself keep cool stay safe and i'll see you on the next one cheers